Hello, my name is Rachel and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk you through three funds that have absolutely beaten the market. They have been established for over 10 years and I'm going to give you all the figures to compare and show you just how much they have beaten the market by. So often there is a lot of talk about investing in funds and people say often that the fees are very high versus just investing in an index track, for example. However, sometimes I personally believe that these fees are worth paying when you can get the absolutely amazing results that I have seen in these funds that I am invested in. So all of the funds that I'm going to be talking to you about today are funds that I am personally invested in myself because I think it's so important to be transparent and also to talk about things that I actually want to invest in because I don't want to talk to you about something that I'm not going to invest in myself. They are all funds that have been established for over 10 years. So you can get an idea of 10 years of annualized returns, which I think is really, really important because obviously the market has been doing particularly well in the last couple of years. However, I think it's so important to be able to see those historic returns going all the way back 10 years so that you've got a good example of how it could hopefully perform in the future. There is often a lot of talk about why we shouldn't look at past performance and say that it's indicative of future performance. Now that's totally the case. Something might do really well last year or 10 years ago and might not do so well in the future. However, I'd like to use this example of, for example, your local restaurant. If you have a local restaurant that you've been going to for 10 years that is absolutely phenomenal, has done really well for you, you've always had really good service, really good food and paid a good price for it, why would you go to somewhere that for the last 10 years you've had awful service, um, not a very good experience and haven't had the kind of meal that you are really looking for? So I think although past performance is not always indicative of future performance, I think it is a really, really important factor to be looking at when choosing your investments because obviously if you can see that they have done very well in the past, that could potentially mean that they could continue to do well into the future. And also with each and every one of these funds, I am going to talk about if you had invested a thousand pounds into each and every one of them 10 years ago, what that would be worth today versus what it would be worth if you'd invested it in an index tracker in that specific market. The first fund that I'm going to talk to you about is the Bailey Gifford American Fund. This fund has had phenomenal returns over the last 10 years. If you had have invested a thousand pounds into the Bailey Gifford American Fund in a lump sum 10 years ago, you would now have £9,682.70 versus the market, which is the US large cap growth equity market, you would have seen now a value of £4,906.25 if you'd invested £1,000 10 years ago. So you can see that by choosing to invest in the Bailey Gifford American Fund, over 10 years, you would have seen a return that is 97% larger. Your money would be worth an extra £4,776.45 over that 10 year period, just because you had chosen to invest in a fund. And yes, they do have slightly larger fees and you might have to do a bit more research to find these funds, but I think personally it would obviously certainly have been worth investing in the Bailey Gifford American Fund. As I said, I am still invested in this fund myself. I have a few thousand pounds invested in it and will continue to hold on to that. So to give you some more up-to-date figures, the Bailey Gifford American B Accumulation Fund, in the last five years, the annualized return for that fund has been 35.5% versus a market return, so that is the large cap growth equity return of 18.92%. So that is annualized returns there over the last five years. And I think that kind of speaks for itself. That is a huge, huge increase in percentage return 
from investing in the Bailey Gifford American Fund. So moving on now to the tech sector, the next fund that I'm going to talk to you about is specifically a tech fund. It is the BlackRock Global Fund World Technology D2 Fund. Um, so I'm personally invested in this fund as well. Um, its equivalent sector is obviously the equity technology sector. Um, so had you invested a thousand pounds into the BlackRock Global Fund Technology um, D2, 10 years ago, you would be looking at a return of, or a value of your money now, of £8,677.96 versus a technology equity return of £4,784.26, which is £3,893.70 more, or 81% greater returns having invested in the Black Rock Global World Technology Fund. So that is, again, a huge, huge percentage increase on the kind of returns that you're seeing over a 10-year period from investing in this fund. Again, looking at those five-year annualised returns instead, for the equity technology, you'd be looking at 22.15% five-year annualised returns, whereas for Black Rock Global World Technology Fund, you're looking at 34.15% five-year annualised returns, which I personally think is phenomenal. So obviously, when we're looking at our investment portfolios, it's important to keep them nice and diversified. And I've obviously talked about an American fund and then talked about a tech fund, which, to be honest, tends to be mainly American stocks. I'm moving now into a different geographical region, which is the Pacific region, um, and talking to you about Bailey Gifford Pacific. Its equivalent market would be the Asia excluding Japan equity market. So that's what we're using to compare it to. Now these returns aren't as high, however, they are still market beating. So if you're looking to have some diversity in your portfolio and you want to have some of the Pacific market, then this could be a good fund to look at. So the returns for this fund, if you had have invested a thousand pounds 10 years ago into this fund, you would now be looking at a value of 4,596 pounds and 75 pence over 10 years. Whereas if you had chosen to invest in an index tracker for the Asia market, excluding um, Japan, you would be looking at a return of 2,452 pounds and 91 pence after 10 years years. So obviously, again, you're seeing a much greater return with this specific fund. Um, so the difference in the return is £2,143.84, which is an 87% greater return over 10 years with the um, Bailey Gifford Pacific Fund, rather than investing in, say, an index tracker um, for the Asia market, excluding Japan. Um, so really, really strong returns from choosing to invest in a fund that is actively managed rather than investing in an index tracker. So um, quickly going into the five-year returns, so the annualised Asia excluding Japan returns would have been 9.94% over the last five years. For the Bailey Gifford Pacific Fund, it is 22.37% annualised returns for five years. So that is absolutely fantastic. So I hope that you found this video really interesting. I do have a specific video on the Black Rock World Technology Fund, which I can link down below if you're interested to hear about that in a little bit more detail. And then I'm also thinking I could do a few more videos that are specifically about the two Bailey Gifford funds that I've talked about the Bailey Gifford American Fund and the Bailey Gifford Pacific Fund. Um, I think it's really, really interesting to see that some funds can outperform the market over time um, and have some fantastic annualised returns as well. Um, perhaps in the future it might go back to um, not being able to find these funds that can outperform the market and going all the way back to investing in index trackers. I don't know. I don't know that what the future holds. Um, but for now, I'm really, really happy for my personal portfolio to be invested in funds which are at the moment outperforming the market. Um, this is definitely not financial advice. Definitely go and do your own research. I personally like to have a mix of different investments. So I am invested in funds, trusts, ETFs, index trackers, and then a few individual stocks and shares. But to be honest, I mainly like to focus on investing in funds and trusts that and hopefully outperform the market because my individual stocks and shares, although I find it really interesting to do, I like doing the research and I have lots of videos on this channel about the individual stocks and shares I'm invested in. 
I might not be able to beat the market. Whereas some of these people and some of the fund managers involved with these funds um, have such a level of expertise that they have been able to beat the market. And those are the things that I'm kind of interested in investing in because if I don't have the expertise, then I'm happy to pay a small percentage fee to get someone who does to do it for me. Um, so thank you so, so very much for watching. I hope you're all having a lovely, lovely weekend. And if you fancy subscribing or checking out any other videos or, or have any suggestions for other videos you would like to see, I would really, really appreciate it. And thank you all so much for subscribing. I'm over 600 subscribers now, which is phenomenal. I am so, so grateful to each and every one of you. So thank you very much and have a lovely day. Bye-bye.